Hey guys, Juggernaut Ohio here. Today's video we have a Destiny how to of getting the exotic black spindle sniper from Year 2 Destiny, which is basically an exotic black hammer. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If so, please leave a like and a sub. And uh, thanks to Serpa Owns and Simply Faultless for helping us go through the mission. And let's go ahead and get started with the video. Alright, to get the Black Spindle Exotic, what you're going to do is the Lost to Light mission from the new Taken King DLC when it is the heroic daily heroic mission it only works once the daily heroic and once you go into the mission uh, you'll follow it about halfway through and then there is a hidden side quest in the mission that you can do to get the black spindle which is currently still dropping at 310 I know there's a lot of talk that it get uh, nerfed down but it has not yet so if you see the Lost Delight uh, mission as the Daily Heroic, you'll want to get a good fire team together. Recommended probably players around 295 to 300 and up. Preferably you want to have somebody with a solar sword. Um, but if not, in any kind of sword's good to help with the yellow HP bar guys and outside of that, the other kind of recommended thing is to have one if not two uh, we found two is optimal warlocks in the fire team with the storm caller subclass so that way at the very end they can clear the ads as quickly as possible so yeah so once you get started in the mission you're just going to make your way to the end where uh, the crystal is for the awakening mission and once you get into that room you're going to want to shoot down the ogre until he gets taken. So just try to, as quick as you can, uh, shoot the ogre down to a little bit of health. And once he's taken, then things will despawn and you'll be able to grab the crystal and continue on with the mission. Uh, one key thing to the mission is at one point we're going to veer off and go up into Tanix's ship from the strike. So up until that point, um, the only real requirement is is that you the whole entire fire team cannot wipe. Uh, if everybody dies at the same time or everybody's dead at the same time, then the door to the ship will not be open. And you will not be able to complete the quest, so if that happens, just wipe. So here's the ogre. We're just going to take him down until he gets taken. And then once he is taken, the adds will despawn. And the rock in the middle of the room will have the crystal. This is still just part of the standard Lost to Light mission. Not even Oryx can control an ogre unless it's taken. Now quickly, I need a shard of that crystal. Alright, so now that we've grabbed the crystal, there's a glass plate behind us that after a little bit of uh storyline conversation will disappear and when that happens you want to just start running and make your way back to the first room that has the relics with the doors that are locked so once the glass breaks you can just go ahead and start running and make your way to the first locked door again probably best just to uh, leave all the ads alone and just run straight to the room with the locked door uh, if you try to stop them fighting them you may get overran and the team may wipe and you'd have to start over
I like going up on the left here to get through this part and then kind of bending around just kind of draws the fire away all right now that we're approaching the first room here so once we get in this room you're just going to want to have everybody kind of kill the ads on the opposite side by the locked door so everybody just take out the ads as quickly as possible once you have the ads cleared you're going to want to get the relic from the top right up here to unlock the door. And it's it called a tomb husk. And just place it in front of the door and that will unlock the door. And then next just skip these guys, go into the next room that has two locks on the door. You want to be careful in this room. Um, typically what we do is have everybody go straight down into the room on the bottom right and take out as many ads as possible. There's one key or husk relic at the top and then one down here in this room where the other knight is. So we'll typically clear this guy out so we got a safe area. And there's the other key or husk and then we'll start clearing out ads and then once it's clear we'll take out the knight on the top and start grabbing the relics to open the door just be careful with the witch on the top uh, if you have a titan bubble here it works out well you can just pop the bubble and wait it out till the door opens otherwise just kind of fall back for cover until the, or the, the door has opened and then just make your way through the door now the important part is now we're starting into the special part of the mission in the next room you're going to want to not build any not grab any of the the relics so just skip the relics here as you see there on the left and when you make your way through this room just go straight through and you're going to go through the door that takes you to the teleporter up to the catch for the tannic strike So if nobody's wiped once we get up here, the door's open right there. And we can make our way up to the Tannic ship. So now is where the actual side quest starts to happen for the Black Spindle. Once we teleport up the first room, once you enter the first room with ads, the timer will start and you have 10 minutes to complete the side quest to get the Black Spindle. That is very challenging. Probably one of the harder things you'll do right now in Destiny. So, kind of recommended that, you know, once you open this door, everybody go to town with their supers and heavy as quick as possible and clear as many ads and try to clear the rooms out fast because the door on the bottom is locked until you kill every ad. So, if everybody uses a super, everybody should be dropping orbs and you can get your super back for the next room where the tank typically is. And instead of the tank, there's going to be three witches, a whole bunch of ads, and some snipers. And again, you got to try to clear out that room as quickly as possible. Open the door to go to the final room where you fight the boss. A solar burn sniper or sword uh, really takes the knights down quickly because of their shield. And just watch here in this middle area between. They spawn on both sides. So if you have sword, you can use the heavy attack and kill them pretty quickly. And then again in this next room, you just want to have everybody pop supers and clear the room out as quickly as possible and bring down the three witches. There's one in the right-hand tunnel. And then two down here, kind of to the middle at the bottom. And then there's going to be four snipers, three on the top row, and then one to the top left. 
So you'll have to take all those out as well. And what you're looking for, if you're if you're on a good pace, typically you want to get done with this room and be heading into the last stage with about seven and a half to seven minutes left on the timer. So if you're at that pace, then you're probably doing pretty good and you have a good chance of completing it. If you're down around the six minute mark, um, you're going to be cutting it pretty close and anything below that, you, you probably will have a hard time clearing out all the ads at the end before the timer runs out. So just jump up, clear out all the snipers once the witches are dead, and then you can move on. Uh, can make sure you're watching your heavy ammo and synthesizing as need be as you go along. Alright, there's going to be a couple knights here and some cabal, so just clear them out as quick as possible with swords. And then you'll move into the final room where there's kind of stay in the main doorway. There's the opening on left and right. The boss will be up in the top middle where Tanix is. And yeah, you're just going to basically leverage those openings to shoot him. The people with Stormcaller, every once in a while as they get their shoot super, should pop it and clear out some ads just to thin out as much as possible. Uh, KWD420 showed us a trick here that he learned doing it. That if somebody gets on the right steps and goes underneath them in this back corner, and then somebody's in the right window, you can kind of always have somebody firing because he'll divert his the little orbs that make you go blind at either the person on the steps or the people in the doorway so you can kind of alternate who's shooting based on who the um, black orbs are coming at. You're just going to want to focus fire on the boss and get him down as quickly as possible. Uh, it will take some time. You will die. Maybe multiple times. It is a very hard quest. So just kind of keep going and try to keep doing as much damage to the boss as possible. If you have somebody in this right stairwell and the right window, you can kind of call out who the bubbles are coming at. So that way you guys can alternate who's shooting and kind of continually do damage to the boss. If everybody's up top, you kind of get in a situation where... You know, as those bubbles come, somebody will go to recover for health, and the other guy will be shooting, and he'll kind of, he'll get one of those black uh, orbs coming at him, and the other guy doesn't know it, so then he'll move out to shoot, and then he gets popped right away, and is blinded, and has to move back inside, so you lose a lot of time for doing DPS on the boss. And you see there the boss will fall down to the bottom sometimes, but then he'll just walk his way back up the steps. You have to watch out for the fire that the knights throw. There you can see Serpa using his storm caller to clear out some ads. And it's good to periodically do that to build up uh, orbs for the end when you have to clear out all the ads. So once you kill the boss, um, the quest isn't over. You still have to kill every ad in the room to complete the quest and get the black spindle. So once the boss is down, basically everybody needs to pop their supers and start clearing out ads as quickly as possible. Uh, we found it best that if you focus like storm callers on all of the acolytes and smaller ads first, that's that works the best because they they multiply or duplicate. So if you can get them from duplicating by killing them all, then you only have to focus on the larger adds and that's a little easier to manage if you don't get them all then they just keep duplicating and it's hard to clear the room out all 
It's very hectic as you can see. Uh, if you get caught out in the open, you will die a lot, as I am. You just got to keep trying to do as much damage on the boss as possible. Keep reviving each other. And the revive is important because once it counts down to one, they have they can self revive, but they have ten additional seconds on top of when you can revive them before they can revive. So you know it's an additional ten seconds per down that you wouldn't be doing damage on the boss. So right here when I get res, I throw two swords at the boss and that actually ends up taking him down. Oh, actually, he's still going. Oh no, there he is. Yeah, those two swords brought him down. So then, now that the boss is down, you just want to revive everybody, have everybody start popping supers, and clear out the room as fast as you can. Uh, if you got two minutes, um, you should be doing pretty good. Uh, minute 30 is going to be tight. Anything under that, it's going to be really difficult to clear everything out in time. But again, the storm calls are crucial for clearing out the large amounts of acolytes that are in the map and then everybody can focus with their swords or heavy on the um, larger ads. And again just kind of pay attention to your heavy ammo uh, where it's at if you need to uh, take cover and synthesize it's better to do that because you can go through more ads with the heavy especially the swords so if need be just fall back take a little cover so right there you see the scout rifle it's 310 is not doing a ton of damage so just synthesize as need be use supers as much as you can And yeah, once you uh, kill all the ads in the room, this is the final one. There you go. The black spindle drops at a 310. Also there I got the Vienna Singer ship, which is a pretty cool ship. It has a black ship with yellow lights and has yellow strobes on it. But uh, yeah, that's basically what you have to achieve to get the black spindle to drop. It has to be the Lost to Light Heroic, Daily Heroic Mission. Yeah, from there you're just going to need to complete that side quest and kill the boss, kill all the ads before the 10 minute timer runs out. Yeah, so there you go. Black Spindle 310. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll check you guys the next time.